Um, it was kind of what I came in and talked to you guys about last week. Uh, just, you know, shoring up our assignments, making sure we're assignment sound, um, making sure that everybody knows what their job is, that we're communicating. And, and when you do that, good things happen. Hey, Momo, well, I know it's early in the week and you guys haven't completed a film study of Auburn yet, but uh, what are your initial thoughts on uh, that Knicks led offense that you guys are going to face Saturday? Um, I think that, you know, they like to get the ball to 18 and 1. They utilize them. I think four is a hard runner. Uh, and if we can contain the quarterback and, and make him, you know, make bad decisions, uh, we'll have a good day. Stop the run and make him make bad decisions. That's the plan, really. Yeah, definitely. That's what we're stressing, you know. Everybody just whether or not you like communicate your job to the person you're supposed to, just yell it out loud. Yell it loud so everybody can hear. Everybody knows what you're supposed to do. Uh, I, I just feel like that's so important because even if you say it, nobody it might fall on deaf ears. So just yell out what you're doing every single play, what you're playing, so that everybody can be on the same page. Because at the end of the day. The way defense works is like even if you play the wrong call, if everybody plays the wrong call, it's right. You can play it right. You can survive the down. So just make sure everybody's on the same page. He was talking about how challenging it is from your perspective. How challenging do you think this week's going to be with people who are out? Um, I, in my perspective, it's kind of like every other week. You know, I mean, we've we've been doing a lot of different looks, uh, moving guys at different positions anyways. So guys have kind of been put into the fire already uh, multiple times this season. So it's just about uh, responding like we have been. Uh, you know, that, that's how we approach it every week, like figure out your job and communicate well. And that's how we that's how you move past these things. So I don't think it's going to be too much of a challenge. Those younger guys have been watching how the older guys handle that adversity. So I think they'll be able to approach it well. Uh, I think, you know, I think people just got comfortable a little bit, you know, comfortable that we haven't had any positive tests. So I think it's a little bit lax. People, you know, maybe uh, out and about a little bit more. I'm not too sure. I stay in the house anyways. Uh, but it's just got to, this should be a reminder to everybody that this is a, a thing we're going to have to deal with the entire season. So we have to be just as locked in as we were at the beginning now. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, but really, just keep encouraging guys to to wear masks, wear uh, like wear masks even when they don't think they need to be. Because uh, uh, like really, the way COVID hit us on defense is close contact. Not even like the guys have continued to test negative. So, but it's a mandatory 14 days. So that's the issue. So continue to wear your mask. You know, hang out with people from a distance. Wear your mask. Like if you're in the house with your roommates, if you're in the in the common area. Encouraging them, like, just wear your mask there, too, because um, that's how the close contact happens. So just making sure guys are, are just conscious about, even if you're with the team, someone on the team can give it to you. You can get it that way, too. So uh, just reminding them that way. Like, like I was saying, everything got laxed. Everybody, no, no positive cases. You assume that your teammates are good, you know? Uh, no, what I've seen him do on video is uh, when he gets a lot of pressure in his face, he's looking to run. So, I mean, I'm just putting the guy that likes to run in the situation where he has to sit back and throw it.